Seventh grade awaits. You are becoming more independent, both at home and at school. By now, you have settled into a routine of life in the middle school. We are excited for you to continue your journey with us. In seventh grade, you will still have math, science, and social studies for one period each day. You will still have ELA for two periods each day. Then, just as you did in sixth grade, you will select from a variety of elective courses from our four arts strands. Students take English Language Arts, or ELA, during all three years of middle school. In these courses, students read, write, speak, and learn about the English language. Each year of middle school, students can take the regular grade level ELA course or an advanced ELA course. The advanced ELA course in each grade typically moves through the concepts at a faster pace, includes more challenging readings, and has higher expectations in the area of writing. Students considering advanced ELA courses are expected to enter as strong readers and writers. They should demonstrate high-level inferential thinking and see connections that others miss. These students should be motivated to focus on their reading, writing, and language skills. This year, students and families will select the ELA course they believe is the right fit. Students who are currently in advanced ELA and want to continue must register for that advanced course for next school year. For more information about advanced ELA, please check the registration guide or talk to an ELA teacher. Students take science during all three years of their middle school experience. Throughout their science learning, students will conduct experiments, make observations and inferences, collect and analyze data, and construct explanations and arguments about science concepts. Each year of middle school science approaches these science skills through a focus on a different area, earth science, life science, or physical science. In middle school science, students can choose to take the regular grade level course or an advanced course. The advanced course in each grade typically moves through the science concepts at a faster pace with more independent work. Students considering advanced middle school science courses should have curiosity and a strong interest in science. Reading, writing, and math skills are all important for students to be successful in advanced middle school science. Students in advanced science in middle school typically complete and present a STEM fair style project as an important part of their learning about the science and engineering practices. This year, students and families will be selecting the science course they believe is the right fit for them. If you are currently in advanced science and want to continue, be sure to register for the correct course. If you're looking for more information about advanced science, Check out the registration guide or talk to your teacher. As an incoming 7th grader, you will be placed into one of three math courses, Intermediate Pre-Algebra, Middle School Algebra, or Honors High School Intermediate Algebra. Intermediate Pre-Algebra is the 7th grade level math course. Middle School Algebra is an above grade level math course. Honors High School Intermediate Algebra is the ninth grade level math course. The letter grades earned in this course will be placed on high school transcripts. Your placement into a math course that is above grade level is determined through the use of placement guidelines along with your current teacher's recommendation. Students enrolled in courses that are above grade level will be held to higher standards, move at a faster pace, and develop a deeper understanding of the math content. Students take social studies during all three years of middle school. In these courses, students will learn about their community, state, country, Native American tribes, and the world. In sixth grade, students take Minnesota studies and see how our state has changed over time from the original homelands of the Dakota and Anishinaabe to today. In seventh grade, students take U.S. studies looking at the history and life of our country. And in 8th grade, students see a global perspective in global studies. In all three courses, students will explore multiple perspectives, engage with various forms of texts, 
and write and discuss the content. Technology education classes are designed to give you hands-on experiences to better participate in a world driven by technology. In TechEd, your time will be split between working in a computer lab and a woods or metals lab. You will have fun designing and building projects with power tools, laser engravers, 3D printers, and printing machines. Most projects allow you to customize your project to reflect your creativity and interests, all while applying important concepts learned in math and science. What's exciting is that what you learn in tech ed are real skills that are used in the real world and can introduce you to a high demand, high paying career. In tech ed, you will receive hands on experience in fields such as designing and engineering, computer aided drafting, prototyping, dye sublimation printing, manufacturing, and construction. Engineering, Aerospace and Design This course focuses on hands-on discovery and exploration of two main topics, flight in space and design and modeling. This is an every-other-day course and is available for both 7th and 8th graders. This course meets the technical education requirement for grade 7. In this course, you will use what you've learned in design challenges like building a puzzle cube, making a model of a medical device, and building a model of a chain reaction called a Rube Goldberg machine. In Flight in Space, you will learn about the history of flight in space, discover the science behind aeronautics, and explore traveling and living in space. Projects include building a tetrahedral kite, making a paper glider, launching pop rockets, making and eating astronaut food, and creating a Mars lander model. You will learn to use different software like 3D CAD and online resources. This is a challenging, hands-on, project-based class. Do you like playing soccer, tennis, floor hockey, or maybe volleyball? Does hanging out with friends while getting fit and working together sound good to you? If so, then physical education classes are the place you want to be. Being a part of physical education classes in middle school provides you the opportunity to combine physical movement with learning in a fun environment. You have two options for physical education in 7th grade. PE7 meets every other day and you will engage in skill enhancement small and large group dynamics, developing social skills, and applying game skills and strategies. In Fitness 7, you have the opportunity to increase your overall fitness in a relaxed atmosphere while learning about training principles and concepts. Welcome to World Languages. Learning another language prepares you to communicate and work with people around the world. Also, it helps you better understand and value different cultures. In Exploring World Languages and Cultures, you will learn basic phrases from French, German, Spanish, and other languages. We will use music, food, reading, videos, and or games to build new language skills in speaking, reading, listening, and writing. For many students, this class helps them decide what language they want to study in the future. If you thought all of those course offerings were great, you are in for a treat. Here at Anoka Middle School for the Arts, we offer all kinds of fun elective courses that are only available here. We have additional elective options available in four art strands, including visual arts, performing arts, technical arts, and literary arts. Check out the following video clips for more details about all of the fantastic elective options that are unique to Anoka Middle School for the Arts. Creative Writing 1 is offered for all grades at both campuses. You will write poetry, narratives and stories, and nonfiction, all in creative ways that you won't necessarily find in your ELA classes. There are also opportunities for group projects, daily journaling, and learning more about writing in general. This is a great place for any students who want to learn more about writing or push themselves to get out of their comfort zone.
Creative Writing 2 is available to any students who have already taken Creative Writing 1. You will continue your work exploring writing, and you will start to learn about digital publication. We set trimester-long goals individually and talk through those goals in writing conferences. You will learn about how to enter into local and national writing contests, as well as how to get your writing out into the writing community and the world. You will research careers that center on writing. Daily journaling will push your writing thoughts as well. Welcome to BAND. BAND starts in sixth grade and offers students a chance to play a large variety of instruments. Our classes are leveled. Level 1 and 2 classes meet every other day, while Level 3 and 4 classes meet every day. Starting with the woodwind instruments, which are flute, oboe, bassoon, clarinet, and saxophone, to the brass instruments, including trumpet, French horn, trombone, baritone, and tuba, and lastly, our percussion instruments, there is something waiting for everyone in the band program. We play concerts throughout the year in our auditorium, as well as public performances in the community with our Level 3-4 band. We also have a jazz band, and it's a fun and popular group to be a part of. Come join the Anoka Middle School for the Arts Band. Welcome to Choir. The choir program at Anoka Middle School for the Arts is dedicated to helping all students use vocal music as a means to work hard and learn, to develop skills to work well with others, and to expect the best from themselves at all times. Our classes are leveled. Level 1 and 2 classes meet every other day, while Level 3 and 4 classes meet every day. Our activity is singing, always singing. Students will be introduced to music theory, sight singing, multicultural music, musical theater, folk music, music history, and the fundamentals of quality singing through a wide variety of choral literature. We want choir to be fun and to lead the students toward an appreciation of how and why music and singing are important. Welcome to Orchestra. Orchestra starts in sixth grade and offers students a chance to play a variety of similar-looking instruments. Our classes are leveled. Level 1 and 2 classes meet every other day, while Level 3 and 4 classes meet every day. Starting with the smallest and highest-sounding instrument in the orchestra, we have the violin. Next, the viola sounds a bit lower and is larger than the violin. Both the violin and viola are played with the instrument resting on the shoulder. The cello is larger yet, sounds lower, and is played while seated with the instrument resting on the floor. The bass is the largest and lowest stringed instrument, and is played while standing with the instrument resting on the floor. We play concerts throughout the year in our auditorium, as well as public performances in the community with our Level 3-4 orchestra. We also have a fiddle club at Anoka Middle School for the Arts, and it's a fun and popular group to be a part of. Come join the Anoka Middle School for the Arts Orchestra. Welcome to Music Composition. We offer music composition at both of our campuses. Kids get the opportunity to explore many styles of music, including jazz, rock, and hip-hop and they learn to make arrangements of their favorite songs. We use current computer programs to compose and arrange music, as well as collaborate with other students in real time, so kids can compose music together. Students will learn what type of drum beats go with various genres of music, and they will learn how to add sequences together with multi-track recordings. Dance classes give you the opportunity to get out of your desk and run, jump, and spin to your favorite songs. Dance One is offered for 6th, 7th, and 8th grades at both campuses. In Level One, you will learn about the elements of dance, develop movement skills, and understand dance as an artistic practice. Dance One students will learn about musical theater, modern dance, hip-hop, lyrical, contemporary dance, and more. All students have the opportunity to perform multiple dances on stage with their whole class, 
and create dances of their own in small groups. Express yourself through movement, meet new friends, and build community with other students in Dance 1. Dance 2 is offered for 7th and 8th graders at the Fred Moore campus. This course expands on the skills students developed in Dance 1. In Dance 2, you will learn a variety of technical dance skills, play with rhythmic movement, and explore how to create powerful messages through movement. Your choreographic vision will also come to life on stage with lighting, costume, and prop designs. Students will learn about tap, jazz, lindy hop, break dance, hip hop, lyrical, modern, and contemporary dance. Students will perform a variety of dance styles on stage with their whole class and create several dances of their own. Students also participate in an exciting dance residency with a local choreographer. Theater Arts 1 is a class for all learners. No previous experience is needed as we explore this exciting and rewarding art form. You will be introduced to the basics of theater and drama, guided by the question, why do people make theater? Theater Arts 1 students will learn basic acting techniques, create costume, makeup, lighting, and set designs, watch and respond to live theatrical productions, play fun and challenging drama games, and perform as characters for each other. Got stage fright? We'll work on that too, learning strategies to build your self-confidence while speaking in front of other people. Everyone has a story to tell. Share yours in Theater Arts 1. Theater Arts 2 dives deeper into the processes of creating, performing, responding, and connecting through theater arts. Building on the foundations learned in Theater Arts 1, students will write and perform original monologues, learn the secrets of magic in performance, explore the theatrical styles of various cultures and communities, and perform in fully realized scenes with classmates. Focus areas include vocal and physical acting techniques, ensemble work, technical design, application of aesthetics, and more. Theater Arts 2 students will develop a deeper understanding of the power of self-expression through theater and drama. In the Art Lab courses at Anoka Middle School, you will have fun developing an understanding of the elements and principles of art while focusing and connecting your artwork to world cultures. This class offers a wide range of activities including drawing, sculpture, painting, printmaking, and more. Do you love working with clay? Do you like sculpting and making three-dimensional art? If so, you will love our ceramics and sculpture courses at Anoka Middle School. You will learn about the life of clay, the history of sculpture, and be exposed to artists from all over the world and from throughout time. In ceramics, you will make hand-built pottery and learn how to throw on the potter's wheel. In our drawing courses at AMSA, you will begin with the building blocks of drawing and sketching and learn about the principles of art and elements of design. In these courses, you will use many different types of drawing materials. Drawing students use charcoal, scratchboard, markers, and more. Artists from all over the world use drawing as a foundational art skill. In these courses, you will learn about the history of drawing and look at artists throughout history. Welcome to Family and Consumer Science 1. This is a level 1 course for 7th and 8th grade students that teaches many life skills. There are four main units, nutrition and wellness, apparel design and construction, financial literacy, and human development and relationships. There are many independent and teamwork tasks throughout the year. Some of the projects include preparing and eating a variety of meals, sewing and constructing a project, evaluating how children learn, grow, and play, and creating a personal budget. Welcome to Fabric Arts 1. This is a hands-on, year-long course that meets every other day. It's available for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students. 
We focus on the various elements of art while incorporating different fabric art techniques. This is a project-based course that typically has three different projects, one per trimester throughout the year. Some projects may be learning wet and dry felting, hand embroidery stitching, designing and constructing a shibori dyed pillowcase, and designing and constructing a photo transfer quilted pillow. Welcome to Fabric Arts 2. This is a hands-on, year-long course that meets every other day. It is available for 7th and 8th grade students who previously took Fabric Arts 1. This is a project-based course and focuses on designing and constructing a personal lap size quilt. Do you love to paint? If so, you will have the opportunity to develop the skills needed to be a great artist in our Anoka Middle School painting courses. Painting students learn about watercolors, temporas, acrylics, and paint pencils. The principles of art and elements of design will help guide students in learning the fundamentals of painting. Painting has been a form of artistic expression since art was made in caves. In the painting courses, you will learn about how painters developed throughout time and look at modern day painters as well. Welcome to Digital Productions, DigiPro for short. Digital Productions 1 is offered for 6th, 7th, and 8th grades at both campuses. In Level 1, students will practice taking digital photos, working on photography composition and editing their original images. Students will manipulate digital images using the Adobe Suite software, such as Photoshop. Students will also work with video and sound to produce stop-motion and time-lapse video projects. Learning is hands-on and project-based. Digital Productions 2 is offered to 7th and 8th grades at the Fredmore campus. This course expands on the skills students developed in Level 1, creating and manipulating digital images, video, and sound. These more advanced skills will be applied to projects that include graphic design, dye sublimation printing and vinyl stickers, podcasting, and documentary video work for an authentic audience. Students will use industry-based software in the Adobe Creative Cloud. Students will use multimedia hardware such as digital cameras, digital video cameras, GoPros, and green screens. Students will be working individually and in small groups. Learning is hands-on and project-based. To enroll in this course, you must have completed Digital Productions 1. In technology systems, students will increase their technological literacy by investigating new technologies and engaging in a variety of problem-solving activities. Students will learn about and use a laser, a 3D printer, and a vinyl cutter. They will work in the graphic design fields with heat transfer printing. Students will also draw and design with 3D modeling software. They will also spend time working in the woodshop, designing and producing a custom project. Such projects include wooden clock, a 3D printed image, lasered nameplate, and a keychain designed and printed by the student. Now what? You and your parents or guardians have some decisions to make. This year, in addition to choosing your elective classes, you will get to choose whether you want Advanced Science and or Advanced ELA. Please make your decisions carefully. We make staffing decisions based on the courses you register for now. For that reason, once requests are made, it is very difficult to change a course. Go to the online registration guide on the AMSA website to read more about the courses offered. Please contact the main office with any questions.